Today we're going to look at getting started with the RAD Tree View. RAD Tree View is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. In this video, we will see just how easy it is to work with the RAD Tree View control from within your Silverlight and WPF application. We will display a hierarchical structure and look at drag and drop support built right into the control. We'll also look at several properties such as selection mode and is single expand path. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we are inside of Visual Studio 2010 and I'm just going to begin by going File, New, Project. I'm going to select Silverlight and then RAD Controls Silverlight Application. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a name of Getting Started RAD Tree View TTV for Telerik TV and then I'm going to press OK. Next up, we're going to host the Silverlight application in a new website, and we're also going to be using Silverlight 5. So the next screen that we see here is actually called the Project Configuration Wizard, and it's simply asking us which component do we want to add to our project. I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to place a check in telerik.windows.controls.navigation, and if we scroll back up, we will see that it automatically added telerik.windows.controls to the application. So it found the dependent component and added that automatically for us. Finally, I'm going to hit the finish button and our project will begin spinning up. Once the project finishes spinning up, we can look over here in our references and we can see that telerik.windows.controls and telerik.windows.controls.navigation has automatically been added for us. We can double click on the main page.xaml and we can notice here also that the Telerik XML namespace has been added for us as well. So let's go ahead and begin implementing our RAD tree view inside of our Silverlight application. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a RAD tree view through XAML and we're going to also add a couple of items through XAML as well. So I can begin by using Telerik RAD tree view and we'll just go ahead and we'll give this a margin of about 8. And from here I can come back up and I'm typing in Telerik again and we're going to go rad tree view item. We're just going to give this a header of employees. And inside of this first rad tree view item, I'm going to add two more items. I'm going to add a Telerik rad tree view item. And we'll give this a header of store one. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add in another one here as well. And we'll give this one a header of store2. So we've added our first RAD tree view item. Let's go ahead and add in two more. So we now have one called healthcare and the last one is called technology. So if we go ahead and we run our application as is, then we will see we have our employees, we have our healthcare, and then we have technology. We can also expand these nodes just by clicking on this button and we see our three different nodes that we've added here. And let's go ahead and take a look at another property. So the next thing that I want to take a look at is the selection mode. So I'm just going to go back to our RAD tree view and I'm just going to paste in a selection mode equals extendable. So by default, when you select an item, only one is allowed. But there is some cases where you may need to allow multiple items to be selected. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at this. So we're going to expand employees. And we can see that we can select our store one. But if we hold down the control button, We'll also are able to select Healthcare 1 and then Technology 2 or any of these items. So by toggling that one property, you have the ability to select multiple items. So let's take a look at another property here. So the next one 
that I want to look at is called Is Single Expand Path. So if you want the RAD tree view to automatically close all of the nodes that are not on the path of the expanded node, then you're going to need to set the Is Single Expand Path property. So we can come back in here and I'm just going to paste in Is Single Expand Path equals to true and I'm going to run the application and we're going to expand our first one we can see employees but then I expanded healthcare and you notice that the employees automatically was closed for us I can select on technology and healthcare will be closed for us so this is a uh, very simple property that will allow you to close nodes that are not on the path of the expanded node let's go ahead and take a look at another property this property is called is drag drop enabled so with is drag drop enabled you'll be able to select elements and drag and drop them on your tree view now this would also work if you had another tree view on the form as well so let's just go ahead and take a look at this so we're going to begin and I'm going to select and expand uh, employees I'm going to select store number two and as you see here it's asking us drop in healthcare one and if I scroll down to technology it's asking us which one do we want to drop before so we're just going to drop this in technology two and you can see that this is a very easy way that a user can drag and drop items and like I said before if you had another tree view on the page here you would actually be able to drag and drop items between those two and one of the last things that I would like to take a look at in this first getting started video is creating nodes uh, programmatically through code behind instead of adding them through XAML so I'm just going to come back up here and I'm going to give this a name of rad tree view and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of all of the items that I've added here in XAML and I'm going to switch back to my code behind page and I'm going to drop in a method here and I'll go ahead and fix using statements by hitting control shift U if you're using just code and we will see that we have a method called add tree view items I am creating a rad tree view item called category one I'm setting its foreground to green and then I add the category I can begin adding child items to a rad tree view item the product header is product one and the category.items.add is set to the product here and product equals new rad tree view item the header on this one is 1.1 also added to the product we did the same thing down here at the bottom except for we named it category 2 and we set the foreground color to be a different solid color brush of purple if I simply come back up here and underneath the initialize component I add in add tree view items and we run the application we can see that our items have been added programmatically and if we zoom in then we can see here our category is set to green category 1 is set to green and category 2 is set to our purple so thank you very much for watching and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.